thank everybody for being here and thank you Elisa for the opportunity and thank you Daphne for the support. Um, my name is Juan Valencia, but my students know me as, as Mr. V. Um, I'm a music educator from Toronto, Canada, and I'm currently working in collaboration with Usician to bring the Usician for Teachers initiative to music educators around the world to support them during this remote teaching period. Um, I'm going to start sharing my screen right now because I'm going to start my my webinar now. So so I um, I will appreciate it if, if we leave the questions for the end of the presentation because uh, now I'm sharing my screen and I won't be able to see your questions. But if you post them uh, on the chat at the end of the com uh, at the end of the conversation, I'll be able to answer them. So as I said, um, I'm, I'm a music educator and currently working in collaboration with Usician to bring the Usician for Teachers initiative to music educators around the world, and we're supporting them during this remote teaching period. Um, this is going to be a 30-minute presentation, and it is divided into five and four different areas. First, I'll be telling you a brief story about me and how I ended up using Usician as a, my primary teaching resource. Then I'll be talking about the benefits of, UC, of teaching with Usician. After that, I'll be discussing different topics on how to use Usician as a teaching tool, including an example of a music lesson with Usician. And at the end, we'll have some time for some questions, if you have one, some. Um, to start, I would like to give you some context about my background and how I ended up working with Usician in this wonderful initiative for music educators. I've been a music educator for about 20 years, and in the last seven years, I've been using Usician as my primary teaching tool to teach children ages 7 to 13 years old. Back in 2013, I was going through a crisis as an educator. I think we all go through those. I wasn't enjoying teaching. It was challenging for me to keep my students motivated to practice at home. And I felt like, um, like I needed to do something different to make it more exciting for me and my students. I started to incorporate different digital tools like Guitar Pro and GarageBand. And then I began uh, to create my own worksheets and exercises, got rid of all my guitar books. Things got better, but it wasn't until I discovered Usician that uh, everything started to change. A senior of mine introduced the app to me. His father mentioned that it was a gamify way of learning the guitar. That caught my attention, and the same evening, I decided to download the app and try it out. I was instantly hooked. The same night, I practiced with the app for four hours straight, which made me think that if this app could make me could, could keep me engaged for that long, what could this do for my students? That was the question I asked. I was blown away by the reaction of my of my students when I brought brought it to the classroom. The focus and excitement levels went through the roof. As months as month progressed, I realized that my students were advancing very quickly because they all wanted to practice at home. I was so impressed with how much they could learn with the use of this tool and my guidance. In 2014, I decided to quit my job in the music school I was teaching and founded Guitar Stars Club, a school of music that operated in schools in Toronto as an extracurricular activity. We taught children how to play the guitar and the ukulele with the exclusive use of musician. Thanks to this unique approach to music education and fantastic results with my students, our operations grew immensely very quickly. During the previous six years, we were able to reach over 1,000 children uh, in the Toronto area. This success, this success through the years caught the attention of, of the company officials. Um, hold on one second, I'm having some issues here. There you go. 
Last fall, I was invited by the company to develop an educational pilot in Finland to introduce musicians to elementary schools as a teaching tool. The idea of this project was to help educators replicate the success I experienced in the classroom. Uh, this pilot was so successful that at the end of February, we were starting to plan the expansion of this idea to North America. And then the coronavirus pandemic happened. As a response to the school closures, we decided to launch the Usation for Teachers initiative to help all music educators continue their mission remotely by providing them and their students with free premium access to Usation. Now more than ever, all educators are in need of digital tools that will help us deliver good quality content to our students. I believe that Usician is one of the best resources out there that will help us not only during this remote teaching period, but also in the classroom. Now let's talk about the benefits of teaching with Usician. For those uh, that are new to Usician, I know Gabrielle is not. She's a very, very successful music teacher. <laughs> This is the fastest growing music education company in the world. With millions of users, Usician is the number one platform to learn how to play a musical instrument, currently providing interactive learning for guitar, bass, ukulele, piano, and voice. Initially thought as a self-learning digital tool, Usician has been embraced now more than ever by many educators like me that understand the importance of incorporating high quality e-learning platforms to their teaching. Usician is a fantastic tool to use as an educator, not only during these times of remote learning, but also in the classroom. With Usician, you will be able to teach all the essential music concepts necessary for your students to reach an intermediate proficiency level in all five instruments available. After completing the syllabus, your students will be able to perform music with a high degree of fluency and musicality, showing mastery of a wide range of technical skills and expressive techniques. Uh, they will be able to play a wide range of standards, scales, chords, and arpeggios in all keys, and have a strong knowledge of notes and intervals on their instrument. They will be able to understand common concepts in music theory that includes analysis of melody, harmony, rhythm, and form in most popular music. They will be able to fluently read non-virtuoso music using a range of conventional notation systems for their instrument. They will be able to accurately, ac accurately recognize and reproduce common elements of rhythm, melody, and harmony. The combination of musician and a great music educator like you are the perfect formula for the music, musical success of your students. That's for sure. I see musician as the best teaching assistant. It allows me to deliver group instrumental music lessons to classes with more than 25 uh, students very efficiently. Usician is like uh, the director that gives me gives my students instructions on how uh, on what notes to play and when to play them, while keeping everybody playing together and at the same time providing the class with precise visual feedback. As the class is practicing a song or exercise, I'm able to help my students with individual needs without stopping the lesson. With the use of an external microphone, I'm able to access a student's performance during class while having his or her peers practice along. In other words, I'm able to keep my students engaged and practicing together during the entire class. At home, students are self-motivated to practice thanks to the gamified learning approach. This visual performance feedback uh, and accuracy and timing is a total game changer, allowing students to understand clearly what they need to improve without the assistance of their teacher. 
I think that having one tool that contains technique exercises, ear training exercises, scales, theory lessons, videos, educational games, and amazing songs all in one place is what every educator will want to have. Yusishin has made my job easier as an educator by allowing me to deliver the most engaging lessons to my students with the highest quality technology in, and educational content. I think one of the things that uh, connects best with, with my students, that connects uh, with my students the most is the gamified approach and reward system in Yusishin. The game design in Yusishin serves two learning purposes. First, um, games are fun. Therefore, it increases engagement and practice time. Game, uh, the second one is the game mechanics. The game mechanics can motivate the behavior and learning practices of, of the students. For example, the incentive to collect gold stars can lead, can lead to space repetition, growth man, mindset, and other behavioral practices essential for learning to play an instrument. The points, stars, levels, and leaderboards are not only a great incentive to all learners, but an excellent reference point of progress. The mission stop is the home of our syllabus and is the center of uh, your student's learning, learning journey. The linear path allows me to visualize where each of my students are in their learning journey along with their achievements. It is organized by levels and requires the unlocking of groups of missions to advance to higher levels. This can be an excellent goal setting tool for your students. Each mission contains a collection of songs and exercises that need to be unlocked by collecting a specific amount of stars. There are two types of stars that are awarded, awarded to you, depending on the quality of your performance. You may achieve gold stars if your performance is free of mistakes. You can also achieve between one or three silver stars depending on the number of mistakes during the specific performance. The starts could be a simple but effective goal setting mechanism for your students. For example, you could ask your students to not only move on, on to the next exercise until they achieve a minimum of three silver stars. That way you can ensure that they are capable of playing those specific songs at, at a higher proficiency level. Also, you could ask them to continue to practice until they've completed a certain amount of stars. They could also uh, they could also set this goal in their activity tab before they start their practice session. The point system is another aspect that is not only a, a key engagement factor, but is it can serve you as a reference point to follow your students' progress. Every time you and your students play a song or exercise in perform mode, the quality of the performance is measured with points. You will achieve more points based on your timing accuracy and number of correct notes. This is an excellent goal setting tool as well. For example, you can request as part of an assignment the completion of an, a specific exercise with a minimum of points required. Also, in preparation for a performance, for example, you can keep track of your students' points on a specific song and ask them to improve their score as they continue to practice. The leaderboards are also a great incentive to practice and an excellent goal setting mechanism as well. It is a great reference point to measure the level of your students' performance by comparing it with other players' performances on the platform. If you want your students to master a song, you could set a goal for them to have their name rank on the top, let's say five or top 10 or even top 20 on the leaderboards, which is a very challenging task to achieve and requires a lot of practice. With the use of Yusishin, you will not only create a fun and engaging and rewarding learning experience for your students, but you will also facilitate a tool for them that will 
that will provide them with the required skills and knowledge to form a strong and functional musical foundation. Using musician as an educator could be one of the stepping stones for you to transition to the new forms of music education that are part of this rapidly evolving world due to the advancement in digital, in digital technology. I'm gonna drink a glass of water because uh, I'm getting a little bit dry here. Now let's move on to the next um, part, which is how to use musician as a teaching tool. <clears throat> as I mentioned before, the missions on the learning tab is the home of your syllabus, and it is the best place to start teaching with musician. The different levels can serve educators to understand clearly the proficiency of their students. For the students, it is an excellent way to learn, always having a clear understanding of where they're standing in on their learning journey and what's ahead of them. Each proficiency level contains a set of missions and each mission is a collection of exercises, videos, tra video trainers, and songs relevant to the topic taught on that specific mission. You may decide to start teaching on from the beginning of the mission step, or if your students are currently on a higher proficiency level, you can ask them to unlock the level you want them to start at on the try to unlock level, let's say three or four. Uh, those are skill tests. I recommend selecting a mission that you want to start with. On each mission, you'll see a description of the topic that your students will be learning while unlocking all exercises. I recommend you going over these topics with your students and choosing one or two of these tasks so, so you can explain the challenges they might be facing and give them tips accordingly. For, less, for a lesson example, let's say your students are currently in level three on guitar and you want them to unlock the mission Pinky Challenge. Based on the description of this mission, you can explain the importance of using your pinky when playing melodies. Show them some examples of tunes that you know that use uh, the pinky. And uh, then proceed to, let's say, the song Romanza, which is one of the challenging ones in this mission. Here you can select one of the parts of the song. In most cases, I tend to go to the most challenging parts where I know they will be experiencing some technical difficulties. So let's select, uh, in this case, part three. Um, once you go into the song, you can click right immediately to, on practice mode. And with the loop locators, you can select the second phrase where there is a jump between the B and the G strings involving the pinky. Here you can ask your students to review each one of the notes with the proper fingering. Ask them to play one note at a time without worrying about the rhythm or tempo. They can go over the notes uh, uh, two or three times, depending on how long you select the phrase. In the classroom, you, could, you can go to the tempo slider and slow down the, the song to, let's say, 50 or 60% and enable the auto speed button. Then hit play and ask your students to try to speed up the tempo to 100% with their performance. If you guys don't know, in practice mode, when the auto button is enabled, musician will speed up to the song by 5% when most notes are played correctly. On the other hand, if there are lots of mistakes, the speed will decrease by 5%. Now, if you're teaching online through Zoom, Skype, or Google Hangouts, all these can be done if you share your screen, except for asking them to play together, unfortunately. Due to the different internet connection speeds and types of devices, the latency that results from these will always make it impossible to synchronize a performance. If you're teaching a group lesson online, you can mute everyone's microphone 
and ask them to practice the selected part on their own and give them a time limit or until someone reaches, let's say, 100% first. Then maybe you could choose the student that reached 100% first or some other students to play the part for everybody. This could be a great way to have your students engaged and challenged. Here we see an example of different options in Zoom for you to control the audio of your group classes. Now to finish the lesson, you can assign the completion of the entire mission with three silver stars per part minimum to be eligible to continue to the next mission. Or if you think this is not strict enough and you like to push your students to the limit, you can ask them to goal start the entire mission. It is up to you, but by setting the, the goal of three stars per part is a way to ensure that your students have practiced the, the exercises enough times to grasp the concepts taught during that mission. The mission menu shows the exercises with all stars achieved with three stars at the top of, uh, at the right of the name. As a side note, uh, when, when teaching online, it is recommended that your students use a separate device to run your session at home, different from the one that you are using to communicate with you, that they're using to communicate with you. Uh, this will reduce issues with connectivity and lagging performances. Let's say you want to verify that your students have completed the assignment you posted last class. This is a way to uh, to follow your students' progress. And this is something that has arised a lot, a lot of questions I've got from a lot of educators. How do we follow our students' progress? With the use of Google Classroom, you can ask your students to upload a screen grab or a, or a picture of the missions menu assigned. Uh, this procedure can also be applied if you, let's say, want to see their progress on their missions tab. Another way or another option is for you to have access to all your students' usernames and passwords so you can log in to each, each, each account. This could be useful if your students are having any difficult, dif technical difficulties or if you want to check the, an, uh, the specific information about their progress, such as points, in a song or exercise. In the future, we hope to develop an internal tool that will connect your teacher's account with, the, uh, with uh, your students' accounts. So you could check their progress directly from your account. Let's see when that happens. Yousishin has a great selection of songs that you can choose from to build a repertoire for your students. You can find lots of great songs on the home page at the bottom of the home page in the Usician collections. There's tons of great, great material there. You can also explore the history tab in the challenges where you will find all kinds of songs in different styles. Another way to find songs is by using, use, uh, using the search tab at the top right corner of the screen. Here you will be able to use the filters to find a song by genera and difficulty level. You will be able to find other resources to assign and use as teaching tools in the workouts collections for every instrument. Resources such as scales, video tutorials, core trainers, ear training exercises, technique exercises that will give you a wide variety wide variety of materials to make your lessons more dynamic and engaging. I encourage you to take your time to explore the workout tabs so you have a better understanding of what additional resources you could use with your students. Now for final thoughts. As a result of, of the COVID-19 pandemic in some parts of the world, school closures will continue until the end of the school year. Now, more than ever, educators need prime e-learning tools that will facilitate the delivery of their subjects. During these times of remote teaching, many educators around the world are using Usician combined with 
video conferencing tools such as Zoom, Google Hangouts, and Skype. They are also adopting Google Classroom to assign homework and communicate with their students. These tools are working well for the delivery of instructions, assignments, and feedback. With the use of screen share, teachers can display usation exercises and give instructions accordingly. We know that these are challenging times for all students and educators. Teaching music online can be difficult and it will, be never, it will never be the same as learning music in the classroom. But, musician, but with musician, uh, this experience can, can be a fun and rewarding one for you and your students. Now, if you haven't taken the advantage of the Usician for Teachers initiative, uh, don't forget to visit the Usicians for Teachers website, which is usician.com slash teachers to get free, uh, three, three months of free premium access for you. Um, now, this, with this, we conclude my presentation. And I wanna thank you all for registering for this webinar and for your interest in Usician. If you want to know more in depth some of the features in Usician, I recommend you watch the video tutorials we've been posting on our YouTube channel, as well as our Facebook group. Uh, we believe that uh, some of those links have been uh, made available through the offers. And I believe now it's time for some questions. I'm going to put my camera here. All right. Now, bear with me. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, we have a question. It is a. Uh, is it a smart board compatible? Uh, this is a great question, and I haven't had the chance to to do it with a smart board. Um, but uh, I don't I don't believe it's necessary to connect it to smart board because you can connect it to any um, any screen or any TV um, and and you can control it from the, your iPad. But this is something that if there is any other educators that have tried this before, um, then please uh, send me send us a note because I'm very curious about this for sure. That's a great question. Isabel has a question. Can you tell us why the application rec record mistake when we have not make one? Oh, I see. So sometimes you playing and the and the application uh, marks your notes as wrong. Okay. So normally, well, I mean, with some with some devices, the microphone the the onboard microphone is different than other devices. So I would recommend uh, using headphones for a better experience. That way you separate the audio uh, coming in with the audio coming out. And that way the device will be able to recognize your instrument uh, much better. And try to, um, even though the technology behind the, the audio recognition is fantastic, uh, if you're in an environment that is very loud and there's a lot of noise, then you might experience some some technical difficulties there as well. So try to avoid places that have too much traffic. And, and yeah, if you can use headphones, it's much better. Um, any other questions? Lisandra. Oh, really? Gabriel is saying it works fine. Use exactly the same cables and connections as in a TV. Only problem is it is not as backlight as well as the TV. Okay, so so Gabriel has used has used it on a smart board, correct? Hmm. You're welcome, Lisandra. I'm I'm curious, how many of you 
have been using Usician now um, successfully with your students on a group setting? I know Gabrielle has. Uh, Gabrielle is an excellent uh, music teacher. She's been running, I believe, uh, her full operations, uh, vocal and guitar, all her students um, online. All her school is now moving online very successfully. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, definitely curious, Gabrielle, how, how is that working for you? Yes, Lysandra, you're launching it today. Yeah, everybody's using it individually, of course. I mean, that that's, that's I, I would say that's the best way right now to teach with musician. I mean, it's totally doable if you have like a class of, let's say, 20 students. Uh, and you could use the example that I put on on this presentation where you have all your students and you could give totally uh, precise instruction. You could show them some examples with your, your instrument. But um, but then from there, I would say the best thing to do is to give assignments and ask them to to follow through on their own time. Um, I think that's when you see Shin plays the best uh, role here. And the cool thing about it is that, as I said before, you can follow their progress uh, directly from the app if you have access to their accounts or if you ask them to share their, their screen of the assignments that you sent. And you can keep your students engaged during these times, guaranteed. I've done it with some students. Um, I don't have as many students as I used to have before because right now I'm working directly with decision on this initiative. But uh, I've also communicated with a lot of students, um, and sorry, with a lot of teachers, and they've, they've, they've told me the same thing, that, that uh, this is working fantastic when you assign homework and then they do the work at home. And you're there to support them with any problems that they might have during that time. Yes. Yeah, Gabrielle is saying the challenge is getting all the students on board with their logins. Yeah, and it's a little bit of work. I have practiced. So Gabrielle is saying here, I have practice club every week and we looked at voice so all kids could do it as I teach vocal and guitar. We decided to all follow each other and check back in a week to see how we'll all score in the friend score tab. Oh yeah, that's fantastic, Gabriel. That's another thing I forgot to re to to mention uh, on my presentation. And thanks for pointing that out. Um, there's a an, the social aspect of musician is a great tool that I used to use with my students and it worked wonders. I used to um, publi publicize with with all my students, give them a uh, copy of all uh, my students, their, their peers, their usernames, so they can go into their pra into their uh, friends tab and friend all these usernames, so they all can see each other's um, scores as as they practice at home, which is another level of excitement and and and, and friendly competition. I would say works fantastic. So. Uh, yes, Gabrielle, that's fantastic that you're encouraging your, your students to follow uh, follow each other on the Friends tab. Um, that's awesome. Uh, there's so much uh, there's so much that I I that um, that I think can be exploring musician and and uh, that's why I've created some videos for you guys and I will continue to create some videos. Uh, to put all these different tips um, on the offers, we posted a, uh, well, first of all, right now is the Usation for Teachers initiative, but I believe all of you are already um, part of this. If not, don't uh, click on that, on that uh, offer and that will take you 
to um, the Usation for Teachers website. But also, I would like to post here, if that may help me, helps me, um, a link of a document that will take you to all these uh, YouTube videos uh, that will help you all with um, different aspects of Usation, different tips and different things that, that I think is valuable to know. Yeah, that's awesome. Gabriel is saying, Usician is fabulous tool, well re recommended. Takes time to get to know it. I've I've become a better guitarist as a result. Too, as a result. That's yeah. I I I hundred percent agree. Uh, I went for school. I went for university and college for guitar, but. Uh, we, that's another misunderstanding that people think that, especially for guitar, that this is just for beginners. And I would say for for advanced players as well. There's there are songs in Yusishin that, that are in, extremely impossible to play. I would say not impossible, nothing's possible, impossible, but you have to really practice and sit down for weeks and practice uh, to master because uh, Yusishin goes up to level 10 in the syllabus, but there's songs that go up to level 15. And I, let me tell you, from level 12 to level 15 is uh, very challenging. There are very challenging songs. Um, so definitely, it's, it's a great tool. I agree, Gabriel. That's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see how, how things are working for you with your students, especially with voice. There is a, an awesome video I put uh, about voice. It's in our Usation for Teachers uh, Facebook group. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, goes it takes you through all the ins and outs of, of voice as well. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you for posting that. That's a Facebook group. If you guys haven't joined yet, please join and post all these ideas, questions. You may have uh, even I love I love when you guys post uh, videos of your students as well um, or your classes some videos there that's fantastic um, I I think I think that's what we need at at this time is is especially uh, teachers that are using these tools because we have to be be honest this is this is a, a new thing that we are experiencing now with these school closures and this isolation period. And, uh, and Usician is a tool that was made for self-learning. And now more than ever, um, we educators find the need for tools like this. And there's things that through the years I've discovered, th through all these seven years teaching with Usician that I've discovered and I develop. But um, as I develop those techniques and 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 ideas with the app on how to use it with my students. I believe that there's many educators that are, we're gonna come up with awesome ideas that can help us all develop different techniques and, and on how to engage our students properly and, and, and keep them motivated to practice. So um, yes, please join the Facebook group and post some, uh, all the ideas that you might, might have. Um, So, how many of you find it challenging to um, keep your students motivated to practice during this time? Or you find it that because they're spending more time at home, uh, that they've been practicing more? I'm curious. On my... On my um, in my experience with the little students I have now, um, I see some of them that that uh, practice more, and some of them that are just not doing. Uh, that do, could be practicing more for sure, um, but it, yeah, that depends on the dynamic at home and everything, I guess.
All of you um, here already made, um, took advantage of the Usation for Teachers initiative. Matias, good to see you. That's awesome. I'm glad. Any you guys? Any anybody has any more questions? How how is it working for you guys? I uh, would like to know how many students, Matthias. How many students do you have currently with you uh, running Ucision right now? No problem. Uh, did you miss the did you miss the presentation? It was a short one. Sorry, it was like about 26, 27 minutes. Um, but I hope you didn't miss at all. You have 30 students. Good. Yeah, that's that's a good number. They're all liking it. Uh, that's another question I have, which is um, I'm curious about and is from my experience, what I've noticed is that a lot of people now are using the voice aspect of Ucision. Uh, uh, David, one of the uh, uh, some one of the amazing teachers that I had the privilege to work uh, in Finland with the Ucision for School initiative, uh, he's developed this idea of using piano, and he's using the the knowledge path mostly. Uh, and piano with the students that don't have piano, uh, they're using the virtual piano on Ucision. Now, the virtual piano is not the best virtual piano, I must say, uh, and it's very limited. But um, I've discovered a hack that you could use as well for those students that don't have piano. And is if your students have more than one device at home, let's say a computer and an iPhone or, or a smartphone, uh, or an iPad and a smartphone. There's a lot of free apps out there for virtual pianos. And I actually did the experiment the other day. I mean, I had my, my iPhone close to my iPad and I used my iPad as a virtual piano. So it works really well to do ex exercises with one hand at a time. So as you know, you see in piano, you can practice your right hand first and you select the other hand and you practice your left hand hairs. So it worked really well for me in that sense. And I think uh, I would recommend that uh, as a hack. It's not the best case scenario, but uh, you could totally bypass not having uh, an actual piano at home. Um, so if you use a virtual piano, then you could actually keep your students motivated to practice and have them uh, solve some exercises, some even games, uh, mini games in the app as well. Oh, Lisandra, you have about 450 students using across, there's from seven to 12 years old, 450 students. Oh my gosh, Lisandra, you're a busy teacher. That's fantastic. And they're all using Ucision now. That's incredible. That's great. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, so to my comment before, how many of these students, let's say Lisandra, do they all have? Oh, grade 7 to 12. Okay, I see. And and, and how do you do it? Like, do they all have uh, instruments? Or are you using more of the vocal? Oh, they're starting from today. Okay. So yeah, I recommend uh, explore the vocal side is great. Um, I know th that's the challenge now because not everybody, some schools were able to have time to actually allow the students to leave, um, to, to borrow their instruments. Oh, Gabriel is leaving. Okay, no problem. 
I'll see you in Facebook. Thank you, Gabriel. Bye. Yeah, as I was saying, so the challenge would be for those students that don't have instruments at home. But that's the beautiful thing about musician. We have the voice. Now, the hack that I said about the piano and virtual piano, that's another one. Um, you can also, on each instrument, there is a lot of mini games and exercises that, that they could be utilizing at home. The ear training exercises on guitar are fantastic. On piano are fantastic as well. Um, so I 100% recommend that even if they don't have, let's say, guitar, there's a lot of resources that you could use right now for your students to 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 uh, incentivize all 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 these um, all these aspects of of musicality that they need to to be working on. Um, we have here. Uh, so Lissandra saying some of them will use instruments and others will have to do vocal in the virtual keyboard because they won't have any instruments. Yes, correct. Oh, yes. Uh, and Lissandra, you, you said you are on, yeah, you are from, from Sydney, close to Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, the vocal, the vocal aspect of musician is fantastic. Um, so totally, they can use that. Yeah. Um, I must say that I'm very happy to be working on this initiative. As I said before, um, Obviously, I enjoy more working directly with teachers in the classroom. That's where my, m most of my experience comes from. I believe that the majority of us are, just, are learning now on how to, how to do this uh, with our students online. And teaching music online, I don't think is the best thing to do, but it's something that we all need to, to actually uh, accommodate to and... Uh, what I believe that is going to come, uh, uh, something that is going to be very positive that is going to come out of all this is that more now more than ever, we educators are going to find that educational tools like this one, e-learning tools like this one are, are fantastic to use not only during these times, but also in the classroom. And that was one of the challenges that I... I was facing when I started uh, using Usician, the majority of, of colleagues that I was working with, um, they were all looked at me like weird, like, why are you doing this? Why are you using video games to teach your students? And uh, and I, I was seeing ahead of the game. I was seeing like, hold on, this is not just a game. This is this is beyond that. And and. And because there's there's technology involved, and I get it. There's some a learning curve that you have to actually take some time with the with the with the app and and learning yourself and practice yourself and use it. Be a user first. I recommend, um, and then you will find that um, if you bring that excitement to the classroom, that uh, your students will 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 find value as well to it. And and it's it's not that difficult, but What's going to come out of all this time is that we're we're all going to find that these tools are tremendously useful. Um, as I said before in my presentation, I had the privilege to work directly with uh, educators in Finland in the last five months before the COVID nineteen pandemic happened, and um, and I was able to demonstrate in the classroom with their students how I use Usician, what was the dynamic, and all these games that I developed with the app to keep the students motivated. And 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 the excitement of, of educators was unbelievable and they saw value and it, they all started using it in the classroom. So after all this is, done, is finished and, and, and we find that uh, schools are reopening I 100% recommend you continue using this tool because literally it changed my life as an educator. As I explained on my presentation, 
I never experienced uh, the levels of excitement and the levels of practice time at home uh, increased tremendously as well. So that if your students are practicing, you're a good teacher. And I would say that obviously you have to be a good teacher to incentivize and, and, and to keep your students motivated. But, but I would say that part of that uh, success, I, I give the credit to Usician for sure, because it's a tool that connects directly, uh, speaks the language of, of the students now. And we all know that the children are born with uh, digital devices in their hands and they know how to unlock smartphones before they even start speaking. So uh, it makes sense that we start using uh, interactive tools that will that will speak the language to them so we can connect with them in a different way. Um, when we were young, when I was young, for example, it was enough to sit with my guitar and be entertained by the sounds of the guitar. And I believe that uh, times have changed tremendously and the attention spam on children um, is different. And, and if we present this, these tools that, that speak their language and they speak, um, uh, yeah, to speak their language and that they understand and we can connect because the idea, the idea is that we actually um, plant the seed of music on, on, on the students and uh, regardless on how you do it, you know, to me, I wanted uh, my students to love music and to be familiar with their instrument, the sooner the better and uh, and the faster the better. And I found out that this tool just did the trick. Uh, then after, as, as years progressed, I had students with me that lasted, started with musician from zero, from not knowing how to grab the guitar to going to high school and and auditioning on, on, on guitar and uh, on art schools. And uh, throughout the years, as, you, as they progress and as they grow, uh, you find out that that yeah, the beginning is about the excitement and, and the app and the points and the stars. But then as time progresses, then it start getting, oh, it's more, it's more than that. It's the music. And that's as that's the trick. I think that's the hardest thing that I was facing um, before I started using musician. It was keeping those students motivated. It was keeping them excited about music and, and want them to practice. And, and that's key. Yeah. Um, You guys have any any comments, any questions? We have about four minutes. Um, if not, then what I will do is um, I will just give um, my final thoughts. Daphne, did we did we post all these um, links? Um, just in case. They haven't gone to the Facebook group or to the YouTube channel. Um, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Lisandra. I'm glad that you're starting with the session. Um, please keep in touch and let me know how it goes. Um, encourage you to be proactive on, on the uh, Usician for Teachers uh, Facebook group. I uh, hope to see you there. We start the conversation there. Anything you need, I'm here to help. And um, I want to thank you all for uh, for. Uh, this this time for signing up and for being here and for listening to my presentation. I hope uh, I was helpful and um, I hope to see you next time. Uh, Matias, let me read your, your comment. Oh yeah, my question is how do you... Uh, how do you recommend to share Usician on Zoom? When I share the screen on my PC, notice that my system is getting low on resources. 
and it works not fluid yeah I have also used Sheshen on an Android tablet and an Android phone should I use and connect from the tablet or my cell phone and share from there as another participant on the Zoom meeting or maybe just put the tablet on what my camera is filming and sharing it yeah what Matthias is experiencing is something that yeah that we don't take into account but unfortunately Yusishin uses a lot of resources in the computer it's a very powerful uh, computer software um, so you, you add that the the video conferencing tool which is is uh, borrowing resources from your CPU uh, so that's going to make your computer slow. So regardless if it's on a smartphone or on a, on a tablet or a computer, uh, you want to make sure that you have uh, a computer or a device that that will um, that has enough resources, enough enough CPU to to for you to be able to run Zoom and Usician at the same time. Um, I like your idea of of probably running Zoom as a guest on another device, as running Usician share screen on zoom as a participant on your class um but another way would be also to to film your screen as well that that could be doable as well if you actually set up your camera and and you have like a setup where where it's doable for you to be able to show your screen that's totally doable as well and um Actually, that, I, I would say that would be the easiest way and because you can actually flip the camera as well and then demonstrate uh, whatever you got to demonstrate with your guitar and then show your screen as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, ideally would be to, to get, you get your hands on, on a faster computer probably, but that's not, if that's not an option, then I like your suggestion. Yeah, because um, you're going to find you're going to find that the computer is going to start lagging if you don't have um yeah if you have both devices running at the same time on a slow on a slow computer zoom sorry the, both apps zoom and usician so yeah but you know what we're going to open soon schools are going to open soon and then you're going to be able to run usician from your classroom and that's going to be awesome so hopefully we get there all right so i think um we reached the time where we say our goodbyes thank you matthias thank you lisandra gabriel thank you everyone that um joined this session